Hello and welcome Scorpio. This is your December 2022 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. My guest this month is Kyra Shaw. Welcome. And we will or I will leave the um, contact details for, uh, for Kyra in the description box below. So check her work out, check out what she does. Uh, because she's by default awesome, because that's all I'm dealing with. I refuse to deal with people who aren't bloody awesome. It's that simple. <laughs> it's a good way to, to, to be in life. <laughs> and now we're looking at your, um, your overall energy for the months ahead, before we then look into your emotional core. And then lastly, we look at opportunities, and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially, for want of a better word. So Scorpios, remember you have a really, really big fight or flight response built in and before we even go into cards it's important for you to not think oh if i don't if that doesn't work maybe i should do this what i'm getting here before we even go anywhere is to acknowledge what's going on rather than looking for maybe i can tweak it it's just what i'm getting uh, so I just sorry and shut no, up no, and then no. we'll just see where, <laughs> where the over energy is really gone. No, you're completely spot on though, if I'm honest, Thomas, because the first card that I pulled was be honest with yourself. And oh, it's okay. saying you're not being truthful with yourself. And there's something that's going on here that you kind of like trying to ignore or kind of like beat around the bush. And if you're honest with yourself, you're quite scared of the out what the outcome would be and if I'm honest, I feel like you're getting a little bit of a lecture here sorry guys but <laughs> it's very much saying it's you need to admit the truth to yourself before you can admit it to anyone else because you're very much not like oh, okay right I don't want to deal with this right now but it's not going away and it's very much saying look like you need to you quite literally just need to be honest with yourself and you need to kind of like process that and see how you feel about it and then put it out there but it's not going away, unfortunately, guys. It's going to just keep circling back around until you deal with it. The next one was the ocean. And this card is just basically saying it's you've got all these emotions going up all crazy up inside you. And you need to kind of like let them go. And because you, you're not being honest with yourself, you're kind of like, as, as I said, beating around the bush. It's just it's just coming in like a like a big wave and it's just not leaving you it's like the tides come in and it's not come back out yet um and it's quite literally just saying you need to process all this and start to kind of like heal if i'm honest i feel like there's a lot of trauma going on here and it's 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 bringing you down if i'm honest guys and you need to you need to deal with it it's not going anywhere until you do and again sorry i feel like you've had such a lecture here but you're not grounding yourself either <laughs> so you need to ground yourself guys <laughs> and it's just you had to... half half the scorpios switching off yeah so i'm gonna <laughs> cancel subscription <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry for the lecture they've just come out um but maybe your head feels like you're a little bit in the clouds lately you're a little bit scatty a little bit forgetful and it's because you're not grounding yourself there's many many ways that you can do it my personal favorite is to walk barefoot in the grass it is my absolute favourite way to do it, but if you haven't got access to do that, um, you can carry a grounding crystal, Tiger's Eye is a wonderful one, mm. or even you can just do a, a nice quick meditation where you imagine like roots of a tree going through you, down to the earth core, wrapping around and ground yourself that way, but if you're feeling a little bit all head in the clouds, you need to ground yourself guys, and I'm very sorry that this is the first time you've met me and I've just lectured you. <laughs> <laughs> and in that way, and let's continue with that. <laughs> what, what happens here, Scorpio, in, in the month of December, it feels to me that you're realizing that 2022 was a minor disaster. Welcome to the club. And I feel like you're sort of at the end of your wits, if that makes sense. So when it comes to your emotional core, what the guys are saying is two things. You, have, you are fogged in. And so the point is, you don't really know where you're going and you shouldn't concern yourself with what the next step is. Your job is to sort out the fog you're in. And it's not so much that you have to acknowledge everything, but it's about taking time to go through things. Because when you do look at stuff, I still get the feeling you might just speed things up 
this has to do with the sign you are, if that makes sense, right? So Scorpio, the idea is the earlier you speak up, the less it becomes a problem because you are depicted by a scorpion. The taller the scorpion, the larger the pincer, the less venom it needs. When you are being diminished and you speak up late, you are toxic. So you can, you can poison yourself by not acting fast enough. And yet you are asked to go slow. So it probably, we have a saying in Germany, which means the child already fell into the well. Das Kind ist schon im Brunnen gefallen. Really weird thing. But it really means, well, the shit hit the fan, right? What else can happen? Nada. Sit. Nothing. So what the guys are saying to you is, you know, it is what it is. That's probably the word I was looking for. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is. Um, but because you have fucked in, see, in this depiction, you're in this beautiful Nordic uh, boat and because it's fogged in, you can't see that you're actually very close to the shore. So, so you're already getting somewhere. You just have to allow yourself to sit with it, which is the grounding thing. And the other thing that came to me um, is um, you could literally go anywhere because it's obviously December, so it's very likely going to be <laughs> muddy and stuff. Um, you can literally take one of those sandwich bags and then you take a little bit of soil, put it in the sandwich bag and put the sandwich bag with the soil inside in your pocket for seven days. And it literally realigns you to the element of earth, which is the element of renewal. Right? And then the point is that that boat that you're in, that fogged in boat, is now some sort of a sleigh. Rudolf the Red Nose <laughs> here. But the point is, you will get into the flow when you allow yourself to actually look at what is what, what has happened here. And the, the point is, because it is the end of the year and we tend to reflect in December, point is to reflect on a shitty year. It's not really helpful. What helps is when you say like, okay, this hasn't really been the best year and I do deserve better. Once you understand that when you say to yourself, I deserve better, the universe has a chance to send you better because you're asking for it. Lower energy creates low energy within, which means the universe can only answer you on your energy. So if there's the energy of frustration, you wouldn't even take compliments if the universe sent you someone who would like to validate you, right? So it's a bit of a, of a, of a bigger topic here, <coughs> but the point the guides are making is, once you realize, okay, it's like almost like buckle up, well, I'm gonna buckle up now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work through this, and I also get that, that um, with regards to your emotions. See, Scorpios, you are by default feisty, which is a good thing. It's not always a bad thing to be feisty, right? It's just when it's feistiness for feistiness sake, it goes nowhere, but um, but you are feisty, which means you know that no matter how painful the situation is, nothing ever lasts. So that negative situation also will eventually correct itself. It's like it's like you know you have these hurricanes, and then they only really <laughs> go away when they correct themselves. Does that make sense? Right? Which I only know from the movie The Day After Tomorrow, whatever it was called. <laughs> Love them. We haven't watched it in That's years. Real. Thank you for the reminder, guys. I will watch that soon. The point is, you have the, the, the outgoing energy of your emotions is what we call in the flow. And there's a sentence on it, which means everything is smooth sailing. So here is a bit of a promise. And um, even though the universe doesn't really promise anything, but the promise here, or energetically speaking, is it's time you confronted what isn't working. You're not letting the same answers that you get from someone, that's what I'm getting, um, lead to the same outcome, right? So it is time for change, if that makes sense. And once you sort of spoke your piece, spoke your truth, um, you have said what needs to be said and then things can actually go um, much smoother from there on in. So it feels to me that a lot of stuff that you are going through is ultimately solvable, if that makes sense, right? This is a lecture video. I oh, know, right? very sorry. <laughs> very sorry. <laughs> we'll go Scorpios. And um, now we're moving into opportunities for the months of December 2022. Please like, subscribe and share. I'm not angry if you don't.
because obviously you're having a shit time and we're <laughs> and, and we are <laughs> no, wallowing in <laughs> we're helping. Not to make it worse. But, but this this is we, we only work here. None of us chooses what the guides are saying. And they're not saying this because they don't like you. They're saying this because they do care about you. And they say like, well, you don't have to be that way. You don't have to live that way. You don't have to be in that energy. Right? It's also interesting because as, a, as, a, as an energy, there is a lot of Native American stories about Scorpios. <laughs> and, and, and it means that at times, because you have a fight or flight response, which means you can be unpredictable. Therefore, not everybody trusts your energy. And there is an old story. We have all the time in the world. Let me just tell you quickly that story while we're at it. <laughs> there is an old story where a fox is standing on one side of the lake. And he goes like, I should probably swim over this. And then the scorpion says, hello, can you take me across? And then the fox, it's a fox, the fox says, it's not a wolf, it's a fox. And the fox says, um, no, because you will sting me. And then the, the scorpion goes, well, that would be stupid. I mean, if I sting you, then we both die. And then the, the fox says, yeah, that makes sense. And then sort of halfway through, the scorpion stings him. And he goes, probably without a swear word, what the fuck did you just do? No, the fox obviously <laughs> the fox obviously says to him, why did you do that? Now we both drown. And the scorpion says, it is in my nature. I couldn't help it. And what that means is that there is an element to Scorpios that is self-defeating. At times, you can use the frustration, the venom that you build up on yourself. And that is why sometimes when you are not looking at situations, it's because the, the venom is already working inside your veins. Right? Obviously, it's, it's, it's symbolism. Right? Don't look for venom in your veins. But it, is, <laughs> but it is symbolism. And the whole point the guys are making is that what is sort of needed here, energetically speaking, because obviously it's quite a, a long video here for you, um, it's like an overhaul. It's like, you know, what are my values really? What do I really want to, want to do? And then really manifest them. Because 2023 by default is a, is a seven year, two and two is four and three is seven, which means it's a much higher year when it comes to protection. So um, it's very unlikely that 2023 will just be as shitty, if that makes sense. We live in England, obviously, and uh, England is in turmoil, right? I mean, it's every, every other day, there's some news that are not nice, <laughs> right? Um, so the point is, the country is in turmoil. And I have two options. I eat my ready break and go like, whatever, right? Let me just do all my things. Or I'm going to find out, oh, I hope that the next prime minister is better than the one before. <laughs> right? It makes, so you, you choose your battles. And <clears throat> so, I know I'm making this about England now. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Uh, but I'm getting this sort of feeling yeah. is, even outside information, what you probably pick up on the telly, can affect you and lower your vibration. So what I'm getting is for Scorpios, if you're Netflix subscribers, you know, don't, don't blame me for telling you not to watch Netflix. It's just I'm getting this, which also means they don't watch YouTube, they can't even see the video. The point I'm, <laughs> the point I'm getting is that sometimes you're watching stuff that has absolutely no bearing on anything, but you may take it on. So choose your battles, if that makes sense, right? And but what what needs to happen here, which is the overall energy and all the other stuff for your reading, is that somehow you're sort of stuck in a rut, and the only way to deal with this is by being Scorpio, which is the tall Scorpio. I have a large pincer. I don't have to kill you. I can warn you with that thing, but I'm saying something. That's what needs to happen in order to shift, because you have smooth sailing as they're getting into the flow, right? So I can't really find the words. Um, I don't know how else to say it, if that makes sense. Um, so I understand it is not the easiest um, to listen to this, uh, but the guides, at least mine, <laughs> are not changing topic at all. So they're not no. giving me anything awesome. So let's see what, um, what <laughs> we have for the opportunities. <laughs> so um, main opportunity that I've got, um, summed it up quite nicely, quite nicely in this card, was the opportunity to forgive. And it's this month is quite literally the opportunity for you to heal, grow, and forgive. And what I got from when you were just talking, Thomas, is very much it's kind of pick and choose your battles and small small fights are for small people. You are you're better than that. Basically, what he's trying to say is like you don't need to go around and <coughs> like spit out venom at any given opportunity just because you can. And it's it's a 
opportunity for you to grow and heal and move on to kind of like your higher self and onto that next level where you, you don't feel the need to constantly fight and so overall the main message for your opportunities is just to practice forgiveness not necessarily like just giving it out it's more for you and it's your opportunity to kind of like learn and grow and heal thank you so much and um Despite all the massive information that you got about <laughs> how you should probably change your life. And the lecture, sorry. <laughs> <coughs> we learned what we want. Yeah. So, have a lovely Christmas. What a weird ending. <laughs> and, but we mean it. Have a lovely Christmas. I see you all in the new year. I hope. Oh, <laughs> you say, like, I'm not going to watch that shit again. Yeah. Right? Come back and, here. and remember, when the guides give you a lecture, it's because they're asking you to look at things because continuing in that vein just doesn't make anything yeah, better. It's not serving you a purpose yeah. anymore. Okie dokie, Scorpius. Here's to hope that I see you next month. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye now. <laughs>